Hey y'all, JP here, and today I'm playing The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. We, uh, had to do something a bit special last time and cut off mid-dungeon because, well, if I try to make an entire episode out of just this one dungeon, it'd probably be like an hour long. <laughs> because it's a rather long one. Or a rather big place. So, welcome to the sequel, I guess. The Tower of Ganon, the re -Ganoning. This time, it's Ganon. <laughs> that is most definitely going to be the title. <laughs> now this time I think we have to go through a different door. <laughs> or a different hole, I guess, when we go into the next room. Wait, I went the wrong way. Eh, doesn't matter. Let's just... There we go. Haha. <laughs> On the bright side, this is the most definite final episode. I literally would not have enough content to make another episode, for I have gotten everything else. Actually, I think I have gotten everything else. Yeah, we have fully upgraded shield, armor, weapon, we have all the dungeon items. Upgraded all the objects, yeah, we have, uh... What do you know, I actually did do a 100% playthrough. And, since I showed everything on camera, I think I can legally classify this as a walkthrough. <laughs> I don't think there's actually any, uh... I don't think there's some court out there going, He did not show the one thing! It is not a walkthrough! It is a let's play! <laughs> and then they put me in prison for, I don't know, 20 years for misidentifying my audience. Okay, and... Bam. Okay, I think I can make it. I think I can make it. Come on. Yes! <laughs> oh, that's great. Now, uh... Where do I have to go now? That's the second floor. Hmm. Hmm. Well, there's that one room there. Er, I guess we'll try blowing up one of these and see what happens. Worst case scenario, we can get an anti-fairy. <laughs> Sorry for the silence there, I was thinking. I don't do it often, so... Okay. Ow. That's my fault. Oh, that's... It teases me. It tempts me. It teases and tempts me. Um, I think I can actually just straight up, uh, yep, it worked. Okay, let's go up here. I'm not gonna lie, I literally have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. I have, like, a vague idea, but that's just because of the linearity of the level. Which, while maze-like, is not nearly as confusing as, say, like, Metroid for the NES or whatever. That one I got lost in. <laughs> A good bit. Fun game, though. Ow. Had to make your own map with graph paper, though. Or, in the era of the internet, you can just look the map up. <laughs> um... The cane of so Mia! Cause Mia is so awesome. Wait, what if I pull that thing? What happens then? That doesn't sound good. It was not good. I was correct. I had to pull it anyway. For all I knew it could have been treasure. 
or ropes. Okay. Let's just run through as quickly as possible. Huh. Literally as quickly as possible. Nope, not today, you piece of... I, I think the thing that really annoys me about those things is the fact that they respawn. Like, it wouldn't bother me so much if you could just kill them and get it over with, but no, they just keep coming back. Nope, not today. Ah. No. Will you F off? Um, hey, seriously? Okay. Um, I do not know how this works. Eh. Ah, oh, I hate that thing. At this point, I'm killing it purely for spite. <laughs> ah. Um,. Nah. Uh, I think I did something wrong. I'll be back. I guess that didn't do anything. Oh, no. Nope. F off. Okay. Um. That doesn't go that way. Or this way. Okay, I'm going to have to just keep dodging those while I try to figure out this puzzle. I'll just be back real quick. Oh, shit. Okay, so I'm not going to lie. It took me a uh, ungodly amount of time to figure out that very simple puzzle. And the reward was really not worth it. It was like two hearts and a magic thing. And I lost three hearts trying to get it. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I also learned a second thing, and that is, after getting crowded by a wall master, the reason I couldn't figure out the way forward is because you go up here. I'm sorry for all of you who are collectively yelling at me that I'm an idiot. I, uh, deserve the scorn. That was an incredibly dumb move on my part. On the bright side, we're out of the basement, so maybe we can actually, uh, accomplish something now. Oh, nope, and bam. Aha. What the? What the hell? Seriously, what is going on? Why can't I move? Okay. And maybe just move a little bit over here, and bam. That son of a... I want to kill this elephant monster thing. There we go. We've learned things, I think. In some horrible, horrible way. Ow. At this point, the pain is more emotional than physical. Link is just standing there. It's like, this just hurts me on the inside now. Oh, dang it. Okay, this is gonna be one of those things. Pull! Ow! What? No. Push! Bam. Wait, uh... And push! Not today, motherfucker. Um... Lovely. Let's try this one more time. Okay. And push! Yes! Now it's just that incredibly irritating noise. I'm sure we can, uh, deal with that. There we go. Now let's let that poor, uh... Whatever the hell it is, just leave off in peace. Oh yay, more things. 
Okay. Ah! No, wait, um... Ow. Ow. He's that shit, laser. And I had him aimed up, too. There we go. Go F yourself. I don't even care at this point. On the bright side, we can get up here. And I think the rest of it should be a cakewalk. That's an irritating noise. I wonder what's causing it. Okay. Um... Not gonna lie, that's getting really on my nerves. Okay, that didn't work. Ow. Oh, nope, wrong thing. Son of a... Move it, I don't care. My sheer apathy for these monsters has protected me. Okay, run. let's run. Dang it, that usually works. Okay, let's try this one more time, but immediately go instead of just... Ah, son of a... Gun. Son of a... Gun. Ah, son of a... Bitch. Screw guns. Okay, hopefully my incompetence is entertaining, because if not, then this has been a terrible 17 episodes for you. Screw this terrible, terrible, terrible place. Magicate. I wonder. Ah! I don't. Mm. Okay, this area is not uh, doing well for me. Okay. There we go. Aha! I knew it. After saying it would be a cakewalk, too, I got my ass, like, handed to me. On the bright side, I know how to get to this nice little place. Anything else? Ooh, magic. Okay, we're good. Now, let's just get out of here. Ow. I deserve that. Okay, let's go. And here we are in this place now. At least we got a heart out of it. There we go. I don't think there's anything past here, right? Yeah, we're just going in a straight line. Or a linear path. Okay. And now we have lasers on treadmills. Wonderful. What are they, trying to lose weight for the summer season? Are those even monsters or are they machine? Or are they some weird combination of the two? Okay, I'm coming for you, laser man. One day I'll learn how to kill you. I'm not... You know, fun fact. They look extremely similar to the... Those little red and blue things that have the killer not back. And you do find them in an ancient temple first, right? So, question. Are they the previous dominant race? Those weird... Whatchamacallits? You know what I'm talking about. The, uh, little... I guess they're shells? The little shell tentacle monsters? I'll show you a picture because I'm terrible at describing things, but I figure you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Ow! You are terrible and I hate you. Don't I have a shield to protect against this shit? <laughs> 
Let's go. And we're in this hell again. Oh, you son of a... Don't care. In the slightest. Let me move. Oh, this is going to be the hell. Move it, 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 move it. Ow. And I'm dying. Now forward. Left. Let's get out of here. That was a terrible place and I hate it. Oh, and here's the uh, second boss I was talking about. We have magical power, right? That should be enough. Dang it, I was so close. You know what? Let's just do this the old-fashioned way and stab the shit out of them. There we go. Yep, we have magical sword now, so they should be a lot easier to kill. <laughs> I've actually lost a lot less health than I should have. I feel like I should have gotten the crap kicked out of me, but I think my shield is helping. Okay, let's go up here. I think that only leaves the uh, third boss. The, uh, I haven't even remembered his name yet, so I'm just gonna call him Wiggler again. Okay, uh, Ether. Okay. Actually, can I, uh, will this work? If they're solid? It did, it did work, holy crap. Um. There we go. Now, we hold this. Hey, man. Not today. I'm tired of this crap. I'm just going to move slowly backwards. And here we are again. I care not for your power. Is it just me, or do they remind you of the uh, Black Mage from Final Fantasy 1? Or really any Final Fantasy, the Black Mage has not changed a lot, and I should have continued walking instead of running. Er, talking. I should have walked the walk instead of talked the talk. Ow, oh, son of a... Stay over there, you monsters. You shall perish. Mine. Okay. Uh, luckily, that's just all it falls. Hmm. I feel like I know what I'm supposed to do here, but I feel like I'm not gonna like it. Okay. Okay. So this is what we're gonna be doing, huh? Move it. Quicker, 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 quicker. <laughs> I know that thing's gonna immediately screw me over the moment it gets a son of a. I always forget about those eyes. Okay. Your lasers affect me no longer. For I have the mirror shield. Oh, this place. So oh, I hate it. We're gonna go back just because I know with my chances the timing's gonna be completely off now. Son of a biscuit eater. Ow. Let's try this one more time. Ah, oh, lovely. We did it! <laughs> Aha! That took way more time than it should have. <laughs> okay, mine. Ow. 
Ah, that didn't do anything. Okay, uh, let's try something else. Silver arrows! They're not good just for werewolf hunting. Okay, uh... This should be simple. Oh. Dang it. I think it would literally be easier just to... Screw this. What? Why am I stuck? Okay. I think I can just magic powder this guy through the wall. Let me try. It worked! <laughs> ah. That was about a 50-50 chance, honestly, with me. I didn't really know if I... And I did something. What did I do? A key! And I'm stuck. Yep, uh, here's the third boss. Just as irritating as he was the first couple of times. Luckily, I think he takes, a uh, Less damage. Or, no, I think he takes more damage. It would suck if he took less. Come on, get out of the way, you prick. Son of a... Fourth time's the true charm. Oh, it really was. Yay! I guess the rule of three applies for failure, too. Yeah, we can't actually skip him because we need him to make the chest appear. Aha! There we go. Um, I actually don't know how far we are in this uh, dungeon. I think we're pretty far. I think. Yeah, we only have to go up like this one set of area or whatever stairs, and we should be fine. Okay, uh, move it. I said move it. And you're not moving it, you... I have so many rude words I want to use for you, but I know I can't use them. <laughs> I'm trying to keep this at least a little... dignified. I say as I get my ass kicked by a giant worm. On the bright side, now we get to fight Aghanim, who is somehow actually, uh... less of a boss fight than the other three. Actually, I think the, uh... Little helmet-headed bugs in the ice room are more dangerous than this guy. Seriously, he laughs like Santa. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. It's great that you could come all the way here, Link. I can read you my list of naughty, naughty boys. I'm very happy to see you again, but you'd better believe that we will not have a third meeting. Prepare to meet your doom. Yeah, so now it's Aghanim, but there's three of him. Speaking of that, we should probably bring out the, uh, bug-catching net to kick his ass again. Like the least threatening villain of all time. There we go. Move it. Ow. Okay. I probably deserve that. Ugh. I shall kill you. I kill you! Okay, go after yourself. It wasn't funny the first time. Yeah, he keeps knocking me out of the way. <laughs> okay. Move it. Bring it now, motherfucker. Son of a... They're always just such a pain in the ass that it gets on your nerves. Screw it. Got ya. How many hits does it take? Like three or four? Aha, now you're just far enough. I don't care. 
I don't care if I take hits, I have, still have several potions left. Gotcha. I'm surprised you haven't got all... I'm surprised you haven't done the Palpatine thing yet. Oh, and that thing didn't work. Lovely. Uh, I think I jinxed it. Nope, he's moving. Bring it! Ah, okay, yeah, that one was on me. That was a bit premature. Is he moving? Nope. Gotcha! <laughs> yeah, I have a fairy. Worst case scenario, if you kill me, I come back. And... Hey, I actually, uh, knocked all of them back. Gotcha! And Aghanim is Aghanomore. That, uh... And it's Ganon. Who turned into a bat. For some reason. Okay. Now Ganon will just do this thing where he will smack into it like a Looney Tune cartoon. Bam! Ta-da! And their bird somehow traveled into the dark world so we could chase down Ganon's bat form. And now it is time for the final battle, I guess. <laughs> that had more drama in my head. But before we do that, let's uh, pick up some potions. See you soon. Okay, we healed up, we got some potions, so now let's go punch this pathetic, piggish Prince of Porcine. Alliteration. <laughs> Hit him. And now he shall monologue. Fun fact. And I love the fact that you can do that. You can actually, if you're fast enough, punch him in the face while he's monologuing, and it will actually count against him. <laughs> I never imagined a boy like you could give me so much trouble. It is unbelievable that you defeated my incredibly weak alter ego, Aghanim, the Dark Wizard, twice. But I will never give you the Triforce. I will destroy you and make my wish to conquer both light and dark worlds come true without delay. Uh, will you? I mean, you seem to be the bad guy here. Bad guys usually lose in these kind of things. Unless it's one of those, like, super dark and gritty, like, 90s stories. Where the bad guy is actually the hero and the villain is just an even worse bad guy. Okay, and that took a fuck ton of damage off. Lovely. Um... We'll just have the magic cape, just in case. Okay. Nope, nope. Ah, crap, I'm dying. And now he's gonna start knocking shit over. And. Eventually, he shall knock all the floors down and try to become the Prince of Fucking Darkness. Like that. You are doing well, lad, but can you break through this sec this secret technique of darkness? In guard. A secret? Is it Victoria's? Okay, uh... We have four of these, we're gonna just use one now. I don't want to take my chances now that I've gotten this far. But, what happens with Ganon is he will do that, like a prick. At which point you have to hit him, he will freeze like that, get this out, shoot him in the face, bam, do that two more times and he should die. Okay, nope, not today, motherfucker. Ow. Where'd you go? Ow. I hate you sometimes, so much. You have to have both of them lit or else it won't work, I think. Okay. Screw you and your fire bats. 
Yeah, I think you have to have both fires or what lit, or else he will be like intangible. Ow. Bam. And frozen and shoot quickly. Son of a. Hit and goodbye, Ganon. Nope, we need one more hit. Lovely. What happened to the rule of three? Is that not the rule of thumb? The golden rule? Well, I guess the golden rule is he who has the gold makes the rules, but still. Have some... Okay. Son of a... And I'm dying. I got two more cure-alls and I think a couple more hits, so, you know. He shouldn't take too long. And hit him. Quicker. Yay! One more hit and we are done. We kill him. The lights dim. The story is over. Now all we got left are to roll the credits, baby. Yep, see that door opens? And we are about to see some great 3D images. For the time. The Triforce. This time it comes in three, instead of the previous two. <laughs> Welcome, Link. I am the essence of the Triforce. You know, don't be too, uh, astonished. The Triforce will grant the wishes in the heart and mind of the person who touches it. If a person with a good heart touches it, it will make his good wishes come true. If an evil-hearted person touches it, it grants his evil wishes. The stronger the wish, the more powerful the Triforce's expression of that wish. Ganon's wish was to conquer the world because he has no imagination. Seriously, that's the most generic wish. I get that like three times a week. That wish changed the Golden Land to the Dark World. Ganon was building up his power here so he could conquer the Light World and make his wish come completely true. But now you have totally destroyed Ganon. His Dark World will vanish. Eh, I wouldn't say totally destroyed. The Triforce is waiting for a new owner. Its golden power is in your hands. Now touch it, with a wish in your heart. Go on, Link. Touch those triangles. And thus the wish was made, and everything back to normal. The return of the king, Hyrule Castle. And after this, it's pretty much like a uh, epilogue, going forth, showing all the good and bad and all that. There's the maidens, the knights, the king, the princess, the loyal sage sanctuary. San uh, the sage and sanctuary has been revived. Yeah, all the dead people are back. All the monsters are gone. Sahasrala's homecoming. Ka Kirioko village town. I don't know. Those two brothers are no longer quarreling, the bird is free, the guy can go catch things in his bug net. Vultures rule the desert. Desert palace. Oh, and the thief kind of goes back on his uh, retirement. <laughs> the bully makes a friend. Mountain tower. So a guy who's been beating the crap out of that one guy continues to beat the crap out of him while pretending to be a friend while both still being hideous monsters. Your uncle recovers from death. <laughs> Your house. <laughs> yeah, he recovers from death. I don't know how. <laughs> Flippers for sale. Zora's waterfall. 
And that uh, fellow with his big fishy face opened up a flipper shop, I guess. The Witch and Assistant. Magic Shop. Yeah, it's really just going through the places you visited, not really what happened there. <laughs> it's like, yeah, these places still exist. The Lumberjacks. Woodsman's Hut. Hopefully that tree's not hollow. You're doing good, pumpkins. And I'm not insulting them, that is their name if you missed the, uh, episode. <laughs> Flute Boy plays again. Haunted Grove. Oh, that's actually sweet. And he's surrounded by Energizer bunnies, too. Why are all the bunnies here pink? Venus, Queen of Fairies, Wishing Well. Yeah, she's that bloodthirsty fairy who can only, uh, grant wishes of war. At least presumably. The Dwarven Smiths, Smithery. Yeah, because it's... I don't think she's granted any other wishes. Just arrows and bombs. Yay! The Bug Catching Kid in... Kakariko Town? I think that's how it's pronounced. Oh, he wasn't in the first, uh... I don't know, the first cutscene? I could have sworn he was. But now he's all uh, healthy and can, can go catch bugs. And I guess you returned his bug catching net? The Lost Old Man, Death Mountain. Yeah, that old man is still lost. Forever lost, unable to return home. I don't know why, but I always find that kind of funny. It's like, yeah, he's just uh, stuck on the mountain now. Uh, he never got back down home. We completely forgot about him. The Forest Thief. Lost Woods. And the Master Sword. Sleeps again. Forever. Until the sequel. And the sequel after that. And the sequel after that. And the sequel after that. And you get the point. <laughs> anyway. That was a lovely Let's Play. I'm glad I could share this experience with you. If you like the video, feel free to subscribe. Any comments, concerns, or criticisms, leave them down below. Have a wonderful day, and see y'all later. <laughs>